Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created user entity, user role enum, user service and user repository in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create a functionality to automatically create admin account. And after this, we will create a method to check for the duplicate emails in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started so in our spring boot application first of all we need to create a method to create the admin account and to do this we will open user service implementation and in this class first of all we need to inject the user repository and to do this we will use at the rate auto wide annotation and after this we will write private user repository and we will import this from quiz server dot repository package and after this we will name this as user repository and after this we will start writing the method and the return type of this method will be void and we will name this method as create admin user and in the body of this method first of all we need to check if we already have an admin account and to do this we will create a user object and we will name this as optional user and after this we will use user repository and we will call a method find by role and in the params of this method we will pass user role dot admin and after this we need to check our optional user and to do this we will write if condition and in this if condition we will use our optional user and we will check if it is equal to null and in this case only we will create a new admin user and otherwise we will do nothing so in this if block we will create a new user and we will name this as user and we will initialize this with new user and after this we need to set the data in this user so we will use our user and we will call set name method and in this we will pass the name as admin and after the name we need to set the email so we will write user dot set email and in this we will pass admin at the rate gmail dot com and after the email we need to set the role so we will write user dot set role method and in this we will use user role dot admin and after the role we need to set the password so we will write user dot set password method and in this we will pass admin and with this our user data is completed now we need to save this user so we will use user repository and we will call save method and in this we will pass user and after this we need to write the code to automatically call this create admin user method on the startup of our application and to do this we will annotate this method with at the rate post construct annotation and with this our create admin user method is completed and now we need to create a method to check if we already have a user with the email and we will use this method in the user signup api call so let's create a new method and this method will return a boolean and we will name this method as has user with email and in the params of this method we will accept string email and after this in the body of this method we will write return statement and then we will use a user repository and after this we will call a method find first by email and in the params of this method we will pass the email and after this we will compare this by using not equal to operator with null and now this method will return true if we already have a user with the new email and otherwise this will return false and with this our has user with email method is completed as well and now we need to create this find by role and find first by email methods in the user repository so let's open our user repository and in this we will create a method and this method will return a user and after this for the query we will write this as find by role 
and in the params of this method we need to pass the user role so we will use user role enum and we will name this as role and with this our find by role method is completed now we need to write the method to check the email and this method will return user as well and after this for the query we will write find first by email and in the params of this method we need to pass the email so we will write string email and with this our both methods are completed in the user repository now let's open user service implementation and as you can see the method call errors are gone now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and because there was no admin user in our db so all the code in the create admin user method got executed and we can see one insert into user query got executed and now let's go to mysql workbench to verify this entry and in the mysql workbench we will open our schema and in this we will open the tables and we will open the data of user table and as you can see we got one record with the id 1 in this table and the email is admin at the rate gmail.com and the name is admin and the password is admin which we gave in the create admin account method and now let's go back to intellij and here let's rerun our spring boot application and as you can see our application is up again on port 8080 and this time we don't have any insert into user query because we already have admin account in the database and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create sign up user api call in our spring boot application